welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video that I'm super excited about. I've been basically waiting to do this video for about two months and I, there is going to be a part two to this video. I don't know, like I have no separation organization for what is in that one and what's in this one. It's kind of just what came in the mail first and so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. There is no like clothing really in this haul. I've already done a baby girl clothing haul that I will link down below. It's a baby gear haul. It's like objects that she'll use that aren't clothing. I'm also going to link everything down below in the description for those of you who are interested. This is from Amazon, Etsy, and then from specific websites. So again, I'll leave those down below if you guys are interested. I've been loving Etsy lately, so a lot of this stuff is off of Etsy. I feel like I should have started with an Etsy item, but that's okay. We'll start with an Instagram. This is a brand called Amy and Avoir, Iver, I think. I don't know how to say that correctly, but okay, I'm totally not for like, getting baby shoes because I feel like, come on, like, they don't wear the shoes for very long, if at all. But I thought these were too cute not to get. And I feel like she can wear these because these are very popular shoes for babies. I'm sure you've seen them because of the whole like aspect of the elastic. It stays on a lot better. So I decided to pick up some of these. They're just some pink little moccasins that are so cute. Oh my gosh, I just can't even. They're super soft. And then again, it has the elastic to kind of like stretch and grow with their feet a little bit. And then I just got these ones which don't have any like flares or anything. They're just white and baby pink. Oh, I love buying pink stuff. It's so much fun, but white and pink little moccasins as well. And then I guess since we're on like individually owned businesses, I will show you guys this. Where did I get these? This is an Etsy shop. This is called Little Highbury, I believe is what it's pronounced as. And they're just some little bows. I got a pink one. Is that what these are called? Bows? Headbands? I think they're headbands, not bows. But anyways, um, just some like neutrally colors. There are, they are still feminine, but just not as like pinky pink. They're more of like neutral toned. A little baby's head is gonna fit in this. Like what, are you kidding? I think it's super cute. So I got three of these. And then from the same shop, I got some more girly ones. So I got some pink and white like striped. It's not striped, but that's the pattern I'm gonna go with. And then gray and white, and then a gray and pink. I love gray and pink together. I think it's such a good combination. So I thought that one was definitely cute. And that one was my favorite by far. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about like an actual gear item like more of a I guess more of an essential than bows would be but this is the Ergo baby I did have the Ergo baby with Levi but this one is the newer one or like the 360 version I don't know if they had this when I had Levi I didn't really see it on the market when I was looking for one so Levi loved front-facing he didn't really like being facing me so I got this one because I just feel like it's gonna go to good use. We still did use our other one with Levi, but I just feel like this one is so much more useful and it looks like so much more comfortable. I also got the Soli Baby Wrap, which I'm literally dying to use. Like I want her to be born right now just for me to try this out and then like put her back to bake some more. This is so cute. I got it in a, I can't remember the color. I will put the information in the description again, but um, I love the like baby pink. And I really like this because the Moby is super thick, so it's very hot. And I've heard that this is a lot thinner. I know Brittany and Baby talked about that on her video. Like that's what inclined her a lot to try this as well is because it's a lot thinner. They have a whole bunch of different colors, but this is just the one I went with because I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that I have a girl so I can get her pink stuff. Not that I couldn't get Levi pink stuff, but like me personally, I wouldn't buy Levi pink stuff. And then another thing that I'm trying for the first time rather than like with Levi, I didn't try this is the hands-free breast pump bra. Now I got this one off Amazon. This is the Simple Wishes brand. I don't really know a good brand for these, but I really want to get a good one. So if you guys know of one that you've used or you've tried or whatever, please, please leave that in the comments because I'm not sure this is a good brand. The reviews on Amazon seemed pretty decent, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up just in case. I haven't even explained what this is. So for those of you who don't know what this is, this basically holds the pump to your boobs because it does get tedious to sit there and hold the pump especially like I can't imagine doing it with a toddler running around I just don't think that I could like spend the time to do that and these aren't that expensive the next thing is something that I already opened because I was really excited about Levi didn't really like to be swaddled I think he did he just didn't because his arms he wanted up and when you swaddle a baby most of the time you swaddle their arms onto their chest or tightly like next to them I guess 
And this is like the coolest thing ever. So this is by the brand Swaddle Up. I think it's Love to Dream as well. I'm not sure which one is exactly there name maybe swaddle up is just the title of it and then love to dream is the brand but basically this is like a zip up swaddle but their arms go above it so this is awesome it's super super tight so it's definitely like a swaddle plus it's a zip up for those of you who aren't good at swaddling <sighs> jeez I stuttered oh my gosh at swaddling um, like the majority of mothers at first aren't very good at swaddling so if you aren't then this is like an awesome cheat because it's just a zip up so I only got one for now but if she likes them I'm definitely gonna buy a few more of these because I feel like these are definitely worth the money and really awesome and really good material too. It's super soft, which is obviously important with a newborn. I don't remember if this was Etsy or Instagram, but I'll leave it down below. This is basically, I was looking for a nursing cover because we have a lot of people coming to visit when we have her, and plus it's just better, like we vlog every single day. I need something to like cover myself when I'm breastfeeding. So I got this. Now this is like one of those car seat cover slash breast covers slash scarfs. I don't know really how to explain it, but it's a really nice material. Like it's super, super soft and you could basically like wear it around your neck, I guess, which I probably wouldn't do. I don't really wear scarves, but it does cover the boob area somehow. Let's see. Oh yeah, I guess like seems kind of sheer, but I guess it doesn't really need to be like super thick. It is a really nice material. Like it's super, super soft. And I do like that I can put it on her car seat as well. Next, I got these off of Amazon, and this is called Matt, Maddie Maddie, Matey Matey. I don't know the brand, but um, yeah, I got these off of Amazon. I do want to get some off of Etsy because they have really cute ones, but I want to see if we even use these first. They're like the things that attach the binky to the onesie or shirt or blanket or whatever. Okay, and the last item from Etsy is I did get a boppy, which I was gonna show in my next haul, but I guess I should include it in this one. I got a boppy cover. It did. I did get the boppy cover that's like black and white, which I'll show in my next haul. And then um, I also got another black and white one that says like got milk on a bunch of like milk jugs. Not like boobs, but <laughs> milk jugs, like the actual milk jugs. That still sounds like boobs, but whatever. So I got this pink one. I think this is super cute. I didn't know how I felt about the fringy stuff at the end at first. Actually, when I first saw this on Etsy, I was like, I don't want that one. And then I kept seeing it, kept seeing it, and then I was like, oh, it's cute, oh, it's cute, and it just kept getting cuter. So I was like, whatever, I guess I'll just get it. So I really, really like it. It's, again, the gray and pink, which is, like, my favorite, but it does have black. Okay, the next two things that I got is from the same brand, and it's by the brand P, I don't think I can fit this in camera, but P-U-J, Pooj, Pudge, I'm not really sure how to say it. But basically, I don't know how many of you guys watch our daily vlogs and especially how many of you have watched for that long, but Levi didn't like those little plastic baths you could buy at Target and the little ducky ones that you can put in the sink just don't really look comfortable to me. We didn't ever try that one, but it didn't really look comfort comfortable comfortable it's called a soft infant tub but it's basically it comes like this flat sheet of like foam kind of like a really really soft soft foam and then you clip it like here and here and it's like this little bath and then you can put it in the sink or it fits in like pretty much every size sink it definitely fits in mine and it says on the box that it fits in pretty much every standard size sink and I love that it's like I don't know I love the material of it because like I said Levi just really didn't find those plastic uncomfortable and I didn't look like when I looked at them I didn't think they were comfortable either I was like girl like I wouldn't take a bath in that if you paid me to whereas this is super super soft like literally I want to lay in this like it's very very soft. I feel like with Levi we could take a bath with him and it was fine but with a toddler and a newborn like it's kind of hard to get in the bath with her every time she needs to take a bath so I'm really really excited to try that out. And then I also got this by the same brand P-U-J, Pooj, Pudge, I don't want to say it wrong because I always hate when I say things wrong but I always do. Um, and it's just a bath set. So basically it comes with a another one of these newborn baths. This one I feel like, I mean that one too because it bends, but this one is very like travel safe and you guys know we travel all the time. So this is super cool to just like fold, excuse me, fold up 
and like take on the go. So this one I love for that. It's a harder plastic, but still not plastic. It's a harder like material, but it's still very, very soft. And then it ha it comes with a towel, washcloths, and then three hooks to like hang stuff up. I just think that it, this is like the coolest thing and I didn't ever hear about this with Levi. So I'm really excited to try these out. But that's pretty much it for this haul. I always say pretty much it and it's always a lot of stuff. So why do I say that? I don't know. But anyways, that is pretty much it. I am really, really excited to start using this stuff. She's gonna be here in less than five weeks. Like, that's so crazy. I don't know, my mind can't even like wrap around that yet, but it's super exciting. Again, there will be a part two to this video, so I'm not sure when it will go up, just because I, I'm expecting some things in the mail that you can't track in the mail, so that's weird, but. I don't know when they're coming. It could be a week. It could be three weeks. Hopefully not three weeks though because I really would like to get this video up before then. And then I also do have my nursery tour coming and stuff like that. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!